Uh, my name is Ian Percy, an old-time star sailor and fin sailor before that. How does it feel to be back racing the star with your past Olympic friends? Yeah, it's been an amazing experience, actually. A lot of mixed emotions for me. First time sailing the boat since the Olympics in 2012, and since then, obviously, a lot's changed in my life, losing my crew, Bart, to a horrible accident. So I always knew it was going to be quite an emotional return to star sailing. Um, it was really nice to be doing it with Anders, who was a good friend of mine and Bart's when we sailed against each other. So he's made it a bit easier. Um, but then when you get out there, the the racing always kind of freshens you up and you forget about anything but trying to win, which we've been failing to do. <laughs> Why are you here at the Bacardi? I, this was my first place I ever started sailing. A starboat was here in Miami in 2002, I think. Um, and uh, it's always a beautiful place to sail. They do such an amazing job between the yacht clubs here for the winter sailing. I think um, there's not many places like it. So... We always knew it was going to be fun. I came here with three of our old boats and uh, six friends, and we're here doing a little bit more drinking than we should be, but having a good time. What are your sailing plans for the year? Um, I'm doing a little bit of sailing, uh, uh, the RC44 class and a few other big boat regattas, but generally concentrating more on the design side. Um, Artemis has a technology company which we're developing quite a few... Uh, high-tech boats, you know, foiling boat designs and control systems, so, um, and the simulation of that. So we're more concentrating on that day-to-day, -day, but still sailing as much as we can, and I hope to get out again in the star towards the end of the year. How did you get into sailing? Well, I think when I started, it was probably chosen for me. I was only about six, but I do remember my parents saying that that first day I got out, I was hooked day one. Uh, maybe even more than my brothers and sisters who all also enjoy sailing and I do remember that being out on your own in a boat when you're kind of eight years old and suddenly it's the first time if you wanted you can just go off anywhere and it's a real sense of freedom and excitement and I then over my lifetime have gotten more fascinated I would say by the by the technology of the sport uh, the tuning and the design features keeps you interested so I think there's so much to the sport you can enjoy it for a physicality you can enjoy it for the technique in the steering you can enjoy it for the tactics and then you can also enjoy it for the technical of the design so it's got multi facets and keeps you very very interested for life what do you like about the starboard well i think the star epitomizes everything that is good in sailing it because it does hit all the aspects of the sport that i personally find interesting it's a hard boat to sell you have to be fit and strong you have to work hard but it's way, way more than that. It's something where the technique of the steering is huge in the same way in the fin, but the tactics of the racing is so close because everyone can be fast. And as we've seen over the last 10 years, often it's the person who jumps in the boat that wins the Worlds. I think probably 10 of us in the last 20 years won the Worlds the first year we ever tried because it's such a complex boat. It engrosses your brain and really pulls you in. So sometimes the new guy that comes along can just go and win. And we saw it this year with Paul Goodison and freed off in the Star Sailors League, I think is a great illustration of why it is the best boat as a level playing field. It's the one boat where the stars can come together. What boats you started sailing on? I first sailed, I can't even remember the name, but some kind of wooden thing when I was young on a holiday. Um, that was my whole family's first sailing experience. We were living in the south of England at the time. There was a lot of people who were getting into sailing in the, in the 80s in the UK. Um, but then quite quickly we joined a club and I got into Optimist Sailing, got way too fat too early and into a laser, then a fin, before eventually uh, the star for a few Olympics. If you could only pick one boat, which one would it be? It's close for me between the star and the fin. I mean, it's not close nowadays. It's the star every time because I'm way too old for the fin. But the fin is also a great boat that represents the same kind of challenges that the star has. It has the technical element and the tactical and the physical. I think, um, I think the star probably wins out because it's the boat that you can, for life, be uh, racing to the high level. And I think that's such a fantastic thing about it. What is your best sailing memory so far? I probably winning the gold in 2008 um, with Bart. I mean, I'd, when I won in 2000 on my own, it's a very different experience. You kind of don't, you're a little bit in a 
in a dream you don't understand that you've won. When you win with your friend, you're getting a big bear hug from your best buddy. The emotion comes on much stronger and in a much kind of nicer and more static way. So, uh, yeah, we had a, you know, crossing that line with him um, after a really close race with uh, uh, Robert and Bruno and Anders and Freddie and, you know, clinching the gold was a pretty special moment. Who do you get inspiration from? As always, for me, had the, the kind of the ocean pillars of the uh, Volvo Ocean Race and some of the offshore single-handed sailors. It's had the America's Cup from the technical yacht side, and it had the Olympic thing. And and actually, although those the same people do do well in, the, they overlap. They're certainly slightly different skills. And on the Olympic sailing side, I, you know, my personal opinion is that you know Robert and Ben Ainsley have both proved to be very very impressive um, in their ability to consistently win um, but then in the technical classes in the America's Cup I mean you can't take much away from uh, Russell and Brad Butterworth's achievements over the years when they won the four or five cups on the on the trot that, that was a real great showcase of, of a synergy between the sailing team and the design team which is something I enjoy and therefore respect a lot for them but uh, certainly my generation Robert and, and Ben um, on the Olympic side of Are people I, I greatly admire. And some personal question. What's your favorite movie? I always say Pulp Fiction. I haven't watched it for a few years. I'm going to have to rewatch it. But Pulp Fiction, when it first came out, you know, the end, around 2000 was a pretty amazing film and just a different way to look at things. I've always, I've always liked Tarantino's films. And what's your favorite meal? Well, as I'm speaking to some Frenchmen and I say a roast beef, which is probably true, but a good roast, a good English roast is a, on a winter's day in a pub with a pint of ale is a good way to spend the afternoon. Do you have other hobbies? Uh, I did. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I, I mean, I like to go skiing. I go out on holidays with friends and I've, I've got a new boy, uh, Leon, who's eight months and With my partner Alex and him, we, we, we spend a lot of time hanging out. So this is probably my main hobby now is looking after him. But over the years, I've been lucky enough to do lots of things I enjoy. But yeah, now I, want, I probably want nothing more than to spend an evening at home with him and my partner Alex. What is your favorite music? Uh, well, I'm embarrassing my music taste a little bit. It's like old school, like Leonard Cohen. And uh, the last question is, what do you think of the Star Sailors League? I think the Star Sailors League has been, you know, quite a breath of fresh air, actually, in the sport of sailing. The boat's fantastic. It does start from the boat. I know it doesn't in the way the star is the stars of the sport. But actually, the fact that it's in the star, I think, is important because it is such a leveling boat. And it's a boat that tests you on so many different levels. But it's really caught the imagination of the top sailors. And I think that's important. Yeah.